Hi and welcome on the Flux Immersive channel. Today we are going to do a big tour through the latest features that have been added to Spark Revolution this last 12 months. With this latest release comes our official support for the Apple Silicon processor. You don't need Rosetta anymore to run Spark Revolution, resulting in even better performance than before. Also worth mentioning that our Spark plugins are now available in VST3 plugin format. One of the biggest features added last year was the snapshot system and the dedicated snapshot page. The snapshot system design in Spark Revolution is very powerful yet very simple. You can save and record an infinite number of sound scenes, update them, propagate mixing modifications, and even keep multiple history versions. All of this is easily accessible from the snapshot page, where you can see the order of the different snapshots you've created and edit them in a very user-friendly way. Next, we have released our official SPAT remote control patch for Open Stage Control. Open Stage Control is an open source application specifically designed to create a touchable remote control that can be used on any touchscreen device that can open a web browser. This means that you can use iPads, Android tablets, or even touchscreen laptops to remotely control SPAT Revolution and gain a new freedom in sound scene manipulation. Also released earlier this year is the item page. While the setup page is great to create and manage a session, it is not always the most efficient way to access information. So we added the item page, which puts a lot of information in one place. You can quickly change names, affect new OAC IDs, change automation control status, and much more. Finally, and this has been a long-awaited feature, it is now possible to create groups of sources in Spat Revolution. Groups are very similar to multi-channel sources, except that you can change the parameters of each child source. This is a very useful tool to keep your session organized and to simplify some source manipulations. It's also worth mentioning that groups can be nested to give the user even more flexibility. Well, this covered the most visible part of the latest feature updates. If you would like tutorials on specific topics, please let us know in the comments section below. Also hit the bell to be kept informed about our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.